Hello, everybody. We are uh, back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. As you guys know, we uh, we hip fired a great one. I still can't believe it worked. But my gosh, that was the most insane, insane shot I think I've ever took ever in this game. Like, that was just crazy. I can't believe it worked out. But anyway, guys, we're going to get back into the grind for number six. We'll see how quickly we can get this one. I'm trying to see if maybe we're onto something. Maybe we've got it to a point where we're going to get them faster now. Because uh, the last two showed up... Well, the last one showed up super quick. And the one before that uh, showed up shortly after we changed up our grinding style. So, we'll see. Maybe there's something to it. Maybe not. We're going to keep testing it and see how things go. But uh, how's everybody doing? Hope you've all been doing great. Let's uh, start the day off with a diamond, yeah? Provided he'll turn for us, which might have to force him. There we go. Beautiful. And I believe that's pretty much good. Hey, Bubbles, how's it going, dude? Mr. Bubbles is in the building. Hey, Jackson. Hey, uh, Bastion. Hey, Wyatt. Uh, Revive. Duxton. Scott. Who else we got in here? We got Turkey. We got Davin. Uh, we got Kian. Random Memer. We got Lightning. Hurdlem, Johnny, how's everybody doing? Hey, Ducky. Hey, Heather. Hunter X. Welcome to the stream, Hunter. Hope you have a uh, fun time watching. Welcome to everybody that's new. And uh, welcome back to everybody that's been here before. Yeah, I would take one with the Glock, Davin. The Glock is really fun. Very fun for them. I know, right, Johnny? I can't believe you got yours literally like 12 hours after I got mine, basically. Well, maybe not 12. More like 16 hours or something like that. But still crazy you got it so quickly after I got my fifth. Provided things continue going as good as they have. Wouldn't be surprised if we have this next one in a week. There's another one. Thirty thirty, great one from Max Render Distance. Oh gosh. You never know, maybe I'll attempt it. After that Glock, I'm starting to think that we'll be able to successfully do anything. Yeah, second diamond right there. I uh, probably should have shot him first, but I wasn't thinking about it. Wasn't thinking straight there. Come on. Highlight him. Come on, Call the Wild. Work for me. How did we miss that? Oh well, we'll get him next time. Yeah, the Glock's a lot of fun, Davin. Really like it. Very fun gun to use, very accurate gun. Hey, hey, how's it going, dude? Is that a pie hind? I don't believe so, no. Thank you, Turkey, that was a lot of fun. I'm so happy that, uh, that I was able to do that. It was nice to be able to uh, join in with Jaxie and finally get a hunt in. Been wanting to do a hunt with Jaxie for quite a while. Unfortunately, we never managed to get it done when he was uh, still just doing content. But we finally got it done while he was working for EW. So that was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. And we got a chance to show off our insane Red Deer map to the world.
Shot my last great one with the longbow from 70 meters. Nice puzzle bow. That's crazy, man. That is amazing. Gosh, I wish I was... I wish I was uh, good enough to do that, but I suck with the longbow. No way I could do a 70 meter shot with the longbow. I'd mess it up for sure. Is it 7 plus for Red Deer? Uh, for Red Deer, I shoot 5s and above. Oh no, Chase, that's not good, dude. Well, hopefully you find another one. Duck aim for sure, Revive. Duck aim for sure. It's always the duck aim, man. Yeah, user, at this point, I don't really have a use for most of the diamond red deer. After 19,000 red deer kills, I've seen way too many diamonds to the point where it's not worth taxing them anymore because I don't have room in my lodges for them. So instead, we just uh, save our money. We didn't get that last one, unfortunate. Yeah, Turkey, it was insane. I still can't believe that we did that. Like, it's one thing to actually hit a hip fire, but to get a hard shot, that's just even crazier. I think that was probably the craziest part about it, was the fact that we hit the heart. Like, that's just unheard of. Nah, I won't ever stop taxing Great Ones Revive. It would take a lot of playtime to get to that point. I don't think we'll ever reach that point at all. Well, we got a troll right there. Hey, Lunar, how's it going? Well, I'm not going to be able to get the one in the back right now. He's kind of in a rough spot. Okay, we're going to kill that four, actually. That's one of the ones that we need to take down. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I had forgot that he even did that. There's our pie ball that we saved last stream. It's uh, still kicking. Good old Geraldo II is still alive and ready to... Watch many a great one get taken down. Nice, Kean, nice. How much money do I have right now? We just broke 14 million again. In fact, we're at 14.1 now. Where do these two go? I think there's one over here, right? No, we... Yeah, there he is. Okay. <laughs> hey, Clay, how's it going? Yeah, that's wild, dude. I, I can't believe it either. This most recent one happened so fast. Like, only 680 kills to get great one number five. That is the quickest I've ever had a great one show up. It was honestly a nice breath of fresh air. I'm so used to grinds lasting way too long. And that one actually happened pretty quickly. Very nice change of pace. Gotcha. Well, I'm, I just call you Scott because that's what your uh, screen name is because of the account you're on. It's just easier to read off whatever name is on screen, you know? It can be uh, difficult to remember everybody's actual names. Yeah, we probably will revive. We're going to keep him at least for a couple more great ones. First game at 475, that was a huge surprise. Whitetail, on the other hand, yeah, Whitetail been tough for me as well. Well, actually, I've had more luck with Whitetail, to be honest. Just because of those two initial spawns. Without the two initial spawns, my luck for Whitetail would be way lower. Yeah, Caleb, I mean... At this point, we've killed over 19,000 red deer and... 
do this pretty much every day. Just hours and hours of grinding. And with herd management, it makes uh, diamonds a lot more common. So at, uh, at the point that we're currently at, we really only taxidermize the really wonky and unique looking diamonds. And rares. I tax every single rare because they are much harder to find. Yeah, Clay Drew, for sure. For sure. You know what's interesting? I haven't seen anybody get an initial spawn great one in a while. I'm assuming it's probably just because there's less people grinding for the great ones. There's that troll. Oh, no worries, Jackson. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Can caribou be piebald? Yes, they can. They can be piebald. And the piebalds look very good. Love the piebald caribou. Alright, let's uh, update our count. So that is 761 diamonds. Uh-oh, I accidentally... Accidentally erased the progress of... From what I had wrote down last. Uh, let's see. How many have we killed after... I think we killed like 40 stags after the... Um, after that grind ended. I gotta enter all this in before I forget about it. Yeah, we've killed approximately... 40 plus... How many diamonds was I at? I don't remember. I think we were at four. And then one troll. Or actually two trolls, I think. Two trolls, zero rares. Yeah, I'll have to calculate this later. But uh, for now, we'll, we'll just do that. I guess I forgot to save the text file after I got done writing it down. Unfortunate. There we go. There's another level nine. Hey, Leviticus, how's it going? You're hunting deer IRL right now? Nice, dude, that's awesome. Been a while since I've been able to get out and do an actual hunt. Gonna have to do it sometime in the next couple years. Another one, I know, right? Yes, yeah, somehow he hasn't got it, a revive. It's crazy. Like, you would have thought that he'd have one by now. There we go, we got him. See, one shootable stag there. What's my favorite gun in Call of the Wild? I like the 308 a lot. As well as the Glock, to be honest. The Glock is really moving up on my list of favorites. But yeah, as I was gonna say, a lot of it, uh, Caleb, just comes down to the fact that, uh, I not only just play this game for fun, but I'm also doing it, um, for a living as well, like, YouTube is my job, so I spend quite a bit of time grinding Red Deer for the live streams, grinding Red Deer to get the great ones for videos, like, I spend quite a bit of time on this game, a lot more time than the average person. I'd say on average I probably spend anywhere from 5 to 10 hours on Call of the Wild every single day. And also various other hunting games whenever I'm playing those too. Another 266, though. Nice. So let's add that to the diamond count right there. Yeah, same here, Johnny. Mine move around constantly. Some tips. Uh, one of the best tips I could give you, Jackson, is hunt around water. Hunting around water will immediately increase the amount of, uh... Ooh, oh, that wasn't good. Okay, we're gonna do a little, uh, main menu real quick. I don't want that one to die. Hey, Nacho, nothing good today besides a couple of diamonds. Um, no, Revive. So, all revenue on YouTube is based off of the ads. 
So if you when you have ads in your videos, um, every time somebody watches one of those ads, uh, the creator earns like a couple pennies. And you know, if you have thousands of people watching an ad, eventually that adds up. And depending on how like family friendly your channel is and how marketable it is, YouTube will uh, raise or lower the amount of money you make per ad watch. And then also other income comes from memberships, um, super chats, stuff like that. So really the only thing that affects how much money a creator makes is how they market themselves on YouTube, the type of content that they create, and obviously like how often they're making content. Like all those things will be the main factors. It's not a matter of just being like, yeah, this is my job. They, they won't increase your revenue via that. It's all based off of what you do. Yeah, we hit the small mail, sadly. Luckily, we got to the main menu in time. I don't think it died. Uh, yeah, or at least I have made a video on herd management. Uh, could one of the moderators bring that up, please? Next one's gonna be the 4570. Nice, Johnny. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my next one. Like, I've got a couple ideas, but I don't know which one I'm gonna go with. Okay, there's the one that we missed last time. That's the one we need to take next. Uh, yeah, Cody, it will. You just have to change which levels you're shooting. So, like, uh, it's all going to be dependent on how often that particular species reaches, like, certain levels. Like, for example, if you look at Rocky Mountain Elk, level 1s are incredibly rare for the male. And level 2s are pretty rare but decently common. So, for the Rocky Mountain Elk, you only leave the level 2s and the 1s. Because if you just left level 1s, then you wouldn't get them on your map quick enough and you wouldn't get enough of them. But with twos, you can get a good amount of them on your map. Where it will affect them very similarly to the red deer. Nice, that actually worked out very well. And then like for white tail deer, you would only leave level ones because you can pretty commonly get level ones to spawn. And they're the lowest level possible. So it does change around quite a bit from species to species. Can I do a handgun only hunt on uh, Africa? Yeah. I could definitely do something like that. Maybe I could do a handgun special for 60 minute trophy challenge as well. I think that could be kind of cool. I know, me too, Johnny. It's like, come on, man. Give me a couple seconds to take a shot. Jeez. 25321. Beautiful. Third diamond of the day already. Don't think we had any more. I think it's just that. Don't think there was any trolls or anything since the last time I updated it. Can you do a new lodge tour? Uh, possibly at some point. Now, I actually did record a lodge tour like two weeks ago. But I accidentally deleted the file while I was deleting some old footage that I had already used. I accidentally mixed it up with the ones that I had already used and so it's gone. So if I want to do a lodge tour, I'm going to have to get... Um, I'm going to have to completely record it again. So it might be a little bit before we do that, because uh, I spent like 40 minutes, like straight, just talking about all the trophies. I didn't take a single break for 40 minutes, and it uh, it wrecked my voice. My voice felt dead after that. So probably gonna be a bit before I <laughs> commit to doing another trophy lodge tour. There's our little piebald six right there, our little buddy. Yeah, I don't think it's really that possible, Johnny. You'd have to get them to land, really. Herd management on ducks would be really tough. 
I, I don't know how that would be done. Would definitely be very challenging. I know who Kendall is. Never uh, really talked to him or anything though. Not seeing any shootable stags here. So if there's one thing that I learned from finding that great one last night is that you got to check all of the outer zones. Like even if you haven't seen anything there for a little while, you got to check it because you can ne you never know when something like that could happen. That guy definitely spawned from when we were shooting deer at just these three lakes. And he respawned clear over here. So got to check like the outskirts zones. Even if it's not one of your main grinding licks, it's always good to check them because you never know when you could get a few stragglers that go somewhere else. Definitely like really, uh, really hammered that point home today because th that's something where I always knew that eventually it would probably happen. And sure enough, it did. So that's just going to make me be even more thorough from now on, making sure that I check all of the lakes. Because I can almost guarantee that that thing was probably there during the last live stream. He was probably on the map and we just didn't go to that lake for like an hour towards the end of the stream. So we probably missed him. Could have had him live, but we didn't go to that lake. Yeah, Kaylee, we did get another great one. It showed up last night when I was doing a couple late night grinding runs. I was actually just jumping on waiting for Kill Clinton to get on because we were going to do a Marauder stream. Unfortunately, he had some internet issues, but we were going to do a Marauder stream, so I was just waiting for him. And then I found the great one. So even though we didn't get to stream, I still had something good come out of it. Because if I wasn't doing these runs while I was waiting for him, wouldn't have even found him. What's the best weapon in my opinion? Uh, it's going to depend on what you're trying to hunt, but for deer-sized game, I really like the 308. For bigger stuff like Cape Buffalo, Lions, I prefer the 300 Magnum. For smaller stuff like uh, Coyotes, the 243 handgun is a beast. And uh, for the super small stuff like Ducks, 12 gauge pump action shotgun or the 22 LR from Weapon Pack 1. And this is exactly why we check these zones. Three stags over here. Hey, tight lines, we got a couple diamonds on the day. Nothing too crazy yet, but we got a couple diamonds. Favorite gun for Whitetail? The 308. Definitely the 308. Nice, Lucas. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. That is super cool. Thank you, Caleb. Uh, no, Cody. Leaving diamonds doesn't do anything. The only purpose of uh, stacking diamonds is to force lower level spawns on your map. Yeah, Bastion, definitely. I hope we get another weapon pack soon. Even though we just got one. Like I said on the stream today, I would not mind a muzzleloader pack. I think that would be really cool. If we could get like a modern muzzleloader as well as a muzzleloading pistol, that would be pretty sweet. And they're actually pretty much identical, Caleb. I did a test video when they first released the 308, and the 308 and the 30 6 are pretty much identical in kill time. There's virtually no difference to them. The only difference is the 308 has less recoil, which in my opinion, that makes it a better gun. But it's also personal preference, you know. Everybody's got a gun they like more. I know quite a few people that prefer the uh, M1 over the 308. And vice versa. Know lots of people that like each gun. Uh, right now, we've got five of them, Lenny.
Yeah, Claytro, I'm kind of thinking the same thing. I want to get back into the whitetail hunting. It's just so hard to... It's just so hard to go back to grinding whitetail when I know they're not going to be as consistent as the red deer. Like, I want to get another whitetail, but man... It's hard to bring myself to grind them when they're so, like, inconsistent and... Take a lot longer to get the same numbers of kills. Let's do a quick check on this zone, and then we'll uh, hit up those three good zones again. That would be amazing, Zach. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Would love to have something like that. Yeah, true key, and there is just so many good guns in Way of the Hunter. Way of the Hunter is just infinite amounts of good guns. That's how I wish Call of the Wild would do it. I wish they would make it so all the guns were more in line with their real-life power, but... It is what it is. I don't think they'll ever do that. But if they do, it'll be amazing. Yeah, Volt. Definitely. We need a new great one. It's uh, been a little bit since we got the Black Bear. And the Black Bear wasn't the most popular choice. Though a lot of people do love it. I think it looks amazing. I'm just not too excited about the grinding part for the Black Bear Great One. We definitely need something new to grind. Whether it's moose or elk or deer or, or black-tailed deer or fowler or whatever it may be, I'm excited for any new Great One. As long as it's not a coyote or a red fox. Please don't make it a coyote or a red fox. I will be et eternally sad. <laughs> How long have I been playing? Since like December of 2016 in the pre-release beta. I've been playing for uh, quite a while. However, I did take like a two year break at one point, so. I haven't been playing every single year since it released. Yeah, Clay Drew, true. Very understandable, you know. Buffalo Great One would be kind of cool. It would. That actually wouldn't be too bad. You know, that could be an interesting option, actually. What if they did a European Bison Great One and added a brand new map that has European Bison? That's something that I never have thought about, but honestly... Could be kind of cool. Definitely not a top five for me, but... It'd be interesting to have a great one, uh, European Bison. Question is, how would they make it unique? What would they make... What would they make it look like to make it unique? That's always the question with any great one, is like... How can they make it different from everything else? A great one Feral Goat? That could be interesting. I mean, the thing about the feral goats is there's lots of options for, like, different horn shapes and different fur types, so... I can see that working. Hey, Red Duck, how's it going? Feral goat great one would troll? It would be the only great one that can troll. Probably. That's how it would most likely be. Knowing feral goats, man. What is my least favorite weapon? Probably the 223 bolt action. Uh, uh, yeah, ignore that. Didn't happen. Did not happen. Oh my gosh, yeah, that'd be cool if it was, like, super fluffy. That would be kind of cool. Uh, 
Um, I don't know, Hopi. I've tried shooting some Cape Buffalo with it, I believe. Yeah, that guy ran far. We're not going to worry about him. He is out of here. He gone. Four-horned Cape Buffalo. That, that could be interesting. Would definitely be interesting. I don't know if they would do something like that, though. Hey, JN, how's it going, dude? Are you saying that you got a great one? Or are you saying that we got a great one? You think it's Moose, finally? I think it's between Moose and Fallow Deer. Those are really the only the two options I can think of. Moose, because everybody wants it. Fallow Deer, because people wanted it, like... A year ago when the red deer was added and we're begging for a fallow deer great one before moose was even a conversation and also it's a Hirschfelden species which makes me lean kind of towards fallow deer possibly because uh, they've kind of been alternating they did a Leighton great one then they did a Hirschfelden great one then they did another Leighton great one so I feel like I feel like they might do another Hirschfelden one Okay, so for those of you that really want it to be a moose and don't want it to be anything else, if they if they ended up doing a fallow deer great one instead of a moose, would you still be happy with it? That's my question, because I know a lot of people are saying that if it's not a moose, they're going to be really mad, but if they did a fallow deer instead of a moose, would you still be excited about it? Because I feel like a lot of people would still be very happy about a fallow deer great one. Because fallow deer are pretty popular. And they already look really good. Any great one but a predator. I can agree with that one. <laughs> I'm kind of in the same boat. There's definitely some that I'd like more than others, but just don't give me a coyote or a fox or something like that and I'll be happy. Whoa, buddy, get back here. Wow, how did we miss that one? Yeah, a wolf wouldn't be terrible. It just would kind of suck to grind. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, guys. I thought most people would still be very excited about a fallow. So I feel like if they do a fallow deer, it'll still be very well received. My pick is definitely the fallow deer out of the two. I really badly want a fallow deer great one. After looking up some pictures of what the giant non-typical like um, farm fallow deer look like. They, they could definitely make a fallow deer great one look insane. There is some crazy stuff they could do. A great one alligator that would look pretty cool. Oh, we got a great one last night, Jackson. The last great one that we've got was last night. Great one all Ibex species? That could be interesting. There is diamond. Four of the day. Gosh, we're getting so many diamonds recently. Like, I feel like it was the move, kind of cutting down the total number of level fours that we had on the map. I definitely feel like we pushed it too far. We only had 20 shootable stags left, so I think bumping it up to 30 shootable stags really helped our grind. Like, I feel like it really helped. We're getting more diamonds. We are seeing more great ones show up now. Ooh, European mounts would be so cool. That is something I'm very, uh, very down for if they ever do it. The European mounts in, uh, the Hunter Classic look so good. I think skull mounts are very underrated.
Um, it wasn't really a matter of which ones I shot, Claydra. I kind of just shot the ones that were at the zones that I hunt normally. So, I had tons of level fours at this lake and uh, the river zone and this lake over here. So, I just shot like 10 of those. I didn't really take a look at what they were. In fact, I think I kind of prioritized the biggest ones. I don't remember though. But yeah, I shot like 10 fours. And now I've got like 30 shootable stags, and it seems to have made it better. Thank you, BP. Appreciate it, dude. How am I going to shoot my next great one? I actually haven't decided yet. I don't know what we should do with this next one. I want to do something spectacular, but like, how am I going to one-up a hip fire? Like, how am I going to outdo a hip fire? I don't, I don't know what else I can do. Maybe hip firing a bow? Because I've already took a red deer great one with the bow, and I've took a white tail great one with the bow, but I haven't tried like a hip fire bow. 360? Oh, we could. I kind of want to use a shotgun though. We haven't used a shotgun on a great one ever. I've been talking about possibly using a shotgun for so long, we've never done it, so. I kind of feel like we got to use a shotgun. Maybe buckshot? Isn't the 10 gauge buckshot usable on class 6? If it's usable on class 6, we'll do it. We will go buckshot on a great one. Because buckshot's pretty unpredictable and not the most, uh, not the most, uh, efficient thing to use. So, might make it interesting. Shotgun hip fire. Oh, we could. We could, we could shotgun hip fire. Definitely a possibility. I'll think about it. Nice, Clay Drew. Yeah, it's very strange, Johnny. Very strange uh, some of the some of the ways the calibers work, for sure. All right, before we claim that one, let's go check this lake before the time expires. Yeah, I'm not sure, Ducks. So I'll have to take a look at it. No, four to seven. Four to seven and six to nine. We can use the buckshot on it. What about 12 gauge? No, just the 10 gauge. Okay. We could use 10 gauge brass buckshot on our next great one. What other options do we have? Yeah, I'm thinking we'll go with the with the buckshot. I think that'll be the most fun way to do it. Cuz there's no way I'm one-upping myself again. So we just got to go with something cool, I guess. Although, you know, 243 handgun we might have to do. I did say I wanted to get a great one with every new handgun. So we might just do it with the 243. Hey, Benjamin, you definitely have. You've been here for quite a while. How do you get the Glock? It is with the newest uh, assorted sidearms weapon pack. Nothing there. Test the pen on the buckshot first. Yeah, I'll definitely have to do that. I'll have to see how it does. Uh, yeah, Sam, go for it. Hey, Huntress, how's it going? Hope you've been doing good. Hopefully everything has been going good in your life. Guess that's the only one here this time. Uh, 
no, I haven't, Sam. I've wanted to, but I haven't been able to do it. I've, uh, went fishing for quite a few other things, though. Done a lot of salmon fishing, lots of trout fishing. A decent bit of ocean fishing. For various, uh, rockfish. When was the last time David was here? Actually, pretty recently. David was here, like... A week ago? He stopped by a Marauder's stream. Right, I'm gonna go bump up the AC a little bit, guys. To give you guys an idea of how quickly this PC heats up this room. When I started the stream, it was 66 degrees in here. It's 71 now. So, yeah. Starting to get a little toasty. Well, 71's toasty for me, at least. I overheat super easily. Alright, later, Jackson. Thanks for dropping by. How's it going, Caitlin? How you doing? Oh, they seem the same for me, uh, JN. I was using it on my great one last night. Did pretty well on them. Got him to walk to me on the first try. Could just be luck, though. How come I use KGs and not pounds? Because the game was designed on the metric system. And so it gives much more even numbers. It's also the same system that the Hunter Classic uses. And as somebody who started off with Classic, it's just a, a much more streamlined experience than trying to switch over and do conversions from one game to another or trying to do conversions from one creator to another creator that uses a different system. Like the majority use metric, so I use metric. Uh, it's very rare, Lucas. Any great one is rare. Hell, die. Yeah. There we go. Um, kind of, Sente. What I did was, I just shot a few of the level 4s. So instead of having 20 shootable stags on my map and the rest of them being level 4 and below, I shot like 10 of the 4s to bring me up to 30 shootable stags, and that's the only change I've made. It's not necessarily a change and more of just like perfecting the existing method. Just kind of perfecting the herd management to make it work even better than it was. That's my best description of what we've been doing. Yeah, Caitlin, it's going to be really sick. I am so excited about the Halloween event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Smoked him. I don't really talk too much about like uh, exact numbers chase, but it's enough to it's enough to live off of and support my family. Nice, Sam. Yeah, I can't believe you got one, JN. That's so nice that you finally got your great one. Congratulations on that. After a crazy long grind, you finally got it. 
It was good, Lightning. It was really good. Yeah, that's crazy, Sonaldo. I can't believe it either, man. Wild. Super crazy to think about. Also, where's the red deer? Man, I know we just reset the time, but there's none here. What is going on? They're just absent. We'll check some of the outer zones, I guess. Hey, American Gaming Kid, how's it going, dude? Wind is not cooperating, that's not good. Andreas, thank you for the 19 months. That is just insane. 19 months already? There's no way it's been 19 months. That's crazy. Time sure does fly by. Seems like it goes faster every year. Thank you so much. Everyone's favorite super rare they've gotten? Oof. I don't even know. For me, it's either the Piebald Diamond Red Deer, just because it was even, or the Diamond Albino Whitetail. Those are probably my top two. Kind of difficult to choose between them. They're both good. Yeah, that Red Deer is beautiful, Johnny. I like that one a lot. Makes me jealous that I don't have one of those. Both of mine now, both of mine now, uh, gosh, that's not English. Oh gosh, I can't speak. Oh gosh, guys, what's going on with me? <laughs> both of mine albino, what am I even saying? Both of my albino diamond red deer are uh, so wonky and uneven. Makes me jealous of how even yours is. Uh, Tyler, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Scarecrow's methods, hand down the hands down the best. Now give us the secret to spawning in an albino red deer. How's it going, dude? Hopefully we can hopefully we can figure something out. Sadly, it seems that rares are just uh, unpredictable. No way to guarantee a rare, sadly. But if there was, you know we'd be going for it. But thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate that. Uh, to be honest, Braxton, I like uh, Toyotas and Nissans more. Great one with a 300 meter shot with a handgun. Ooh. Hey, I could do that. Since we're considering the 243 single shot for the next one, I could totally do a 300 meter shot with the uh, 243 handgun. Maybe even 400 meters. Guess it depends on which zone it spawns at. But we could totally try that. Is a 50-50 great one possible? I don't think it is for red deer. I haven't seen any 50-50 rack uh, red deer. But I have seen some white tail get a 50-50 rack. It's rare, but I have seen it a couple times. In fact, Kill Clinton's great one, red, um, White Tail, is a 50-50 rack. So it definitely can happen with them, but I don't think it happens with Red Deer from what I've seen. Nothing there. Um, technically, Zay, if you mess up a great one, it will say gold. But there's no way for a great one to show diamond. It's either a great one, or if you mess it up, it's a gold. Nothing here yet. We'll keep rotating around. <laughs> yeah, Necron, you'll get it eventually. I mean, what worked for me was just switching it up. Maybe try switching it up and see if it uh, changes things for you. There should be a one-horned great one. Gosh, that'd be interesting. Imagine putting in all that work and the great one red deer that spawns only has one antler. I got a feeling more people would dislike that than like it. It'd be cool, but I just have a feeling that people wouldn't like it. It 
Excuse me, ma'am. Gosh, jeez. Trying to steal the show. There we go. That is like the fifth level nine today. Fourth or fifth, can't remember. One of those two. Uh, Tyler, thank you for the super chat again. Really appreciate it. How many kills each year albino red deer? Oof, a lot. A lot. Um, let me think. Probably over a thousand per albino. They are very rare. And even more per melanistic. Melanistic are incredibly hard for me to find. I've only killed three albino red deer in the last, like, 10,000 kills, probably. And two of them were super rare, so... That's like a whole nother level of luck, bud. Actually, no. Wait a minute. No, we have four albinos. Four albinos in the last, uh, like, seven or 8,000 kills. They're definitely not easy to find. I feel like they got more rare with the last update as well. Holy red deer. And we got some on this side too, it looks like. Me a 2,000 kills for red deer and no mellas. Friend hops on a random multiplayer and finds the left late mella. That's how the luck be sometimes. I've got a friend who she just spawns melanistics like it's nothing. You guys probably know Hollow Crow. I swear she gets melanistics like it's nothing. My map is like cursed for melanistics. I've spawned two melas in, well, 19,000 kills. Technically more because I was grinding for Mela before Great One Red Deer was even a thing. So I've probably killed like 21,000 Red Deer trying to get a Mela, maybe even more. Regardless, they're very hard to find for me. But then there's some people that have like four or five of them. Just like there's people that have never seen an albino. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that Kill Clinton still doesn't have an albino red deer. But he's got a few different melanistics. He's got a great one, or two great ones, and he's got a, a super rare piebald. It's crazy how wild RNG can be sometimes. Yeah, I have noticed that Melanistic Whitetail are easier. For sure. Yeah, you've got six of them, Johnny. That's crazy. That's just insane. Why can't I find them? Why can't I get them? There's a diamond 253.91. Beautiful. Love to see it. That's crazy, Huntress. I couldn't even imagine, like, the excitement of fi finding a great one when you're not even looking for one. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever found a great one when I wasn't looking for one. I mean, I guess technically that initial spawn off of Layton, we weren't necessarily looking for the great one. I was just trying to find all of my whitetail zones to make a video on them. And then he just walked out of the tree line. So I guess that's probably the closest I've had to getting one when I wasn't looking for them. Nice, Huntress. Yeah, definitely, Charles. I mean, that's the that's the fun way to do it, right? Just have it randomly show up without even expecting it.
Uh, yeah, Dylan, I did know. I've actually been trying to get one myself every once in a while. I'll jump on and see if I can find one. For a while, I was grinding for one, but just never could find one. Did a lot of multiplayer hopping to try and get one, but just couldn't. I think I've killed like three or four diamond male gray foxes, but never got the female one. Oh, nice, Gavin. I, I know you can't hear me because your audio is off, but that is awesome. You have 14 Melastags. See, now that's crazy. That is some crazy luck right there. I got to add that diamond to the count. Um, there we go. Oh, gosh, I'm... My counts, all types are thrown off. I've been forgetting to add it to the total count. I've only been adding it to this grinds count. Oh, gosh. I'll have to sort it out later. Gonna have to calculate all the kills up and figure it out later. How did that miss? Explain. How did that one miss? I don't get it, guys. That one should have hit. <laughs> Favorite flavor of gummy bear. Ooh. I don't think I've ever been uh, asked that question before. Don't think I've ever had anybody ask that question. Um, I don't know. I mean, I like cherry everything, but cinnamon gummy bears are pretty good. The cinnamon ones are pretty fire. Not gonna lie. I love me some cherry on pretty much every single type of candy, but... There's just something about cinnamon gummy bears that are phenomenal. I haven't had them in ages either. Anything else to grab? I think there's two over there. And since there's no shootable stags over there, we'll just fast travel. Do I hunt in real life? I do, but I haven't been able to in recent years. Hey, Duck, I'm doing great, man. Can a level 2 Goldeneye make it diamond? I, I believe they can, yeah? I'm pretty sure every Duck can make diamond one level below. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. Hey, Deer Killer, how's it going? And yes, I did. Last night, I was doing a couple runs uh, for my Red Deer while I was waiting for Kill Clinton to jump in the chat because we were going to do a stream last night and then his internet died, but I was just sitting there waiting for him, so I was grinding on uh, Tia Waroa and... I found our fifth great one. And so, yes, I did decide to hip fire with the Glock. And in case you haven't seen the video, I'll, uh, I'll not spoil what happened, but, uh, it was crazy. Definitely the riskiest thing I've ever done. And probably the most, uh, fun and nerve wracking. Oh my gosh. Mrs. Crow has been a member for 24 months. That is two years. We're about to have another rainbow badge very shortly. YouTube is a little bit delayed with it, but very soon we should see another rainbow badge popping up. That is going to be so cool to see. That is crazy. Yeah, exactly, Duxton. Exactly. But there's certain species where it happens more often.
Hey, Clunky Penguin, how's it going? 254, there we go. It's always a month ahead on the count. Got you. Okay, so next month it should be the rainbow then. Love how YouTube is never on top of things. You'd think that with as much money as YouTube makes, they'd be able to make things match up, but <laughs> we have situations where the membership counts one month ahead of what it actually is. How is that even a problem? I don't get it. How, do, how does it not sync up properly? Come on, YouTube. You're a massive company. You got this. Can a level 8 mythical red deer technically make diamond? Um, based off of what they said, it technically could. But it's so rare that I believe it's only happened one time. I believe, according to Jaxie Beer, there's only been one or two diamond level 8 red deer ever shot. Which is kind of crazy to think about. Like, that is crazy. Yikes, that might have been a spine shot. What do you guys think? Is that a spine shot or... Was that a hard shot? What do you think? Spine or heart? Spine and lung? Yeah, definitely could be. Got him. I know, right? McLaren is crazy. <laughs> Wasn't watching, but spine. Art. Wow. 25406. Well, that's weird. The um the harvest screen stops being glitchy when I get into this one position right here. Look at that. It's it's moving smooth now, but then if I put it back over here, it goes back to glitchy. That's so weird. It's like going between smooth and glitchy. Crazy. Yeah, you did get the long part right, Johnny. You did get that part. There's a troll. Gosh, the level nines are everywhere today. It was the same when uh, we were on stream with Jaxi this morning. Also, if you guys didn't see the stream with Jaxi beer this morning, I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I joined him on the the Expansive Worlds live stream, and uh, we talked about uh, my map here on Tiawaroa and showed off some of it and took out a couple diamonds on stream. A lot of fun. I enjoyed it. It was cool to cool to get to chat to J with Jaxie for a while and do a stream. Little troll right there. That is our third troll of the new grind. Carter, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it, dude. Really appreciate it. Oh, yes! <laughs> dude! We just got one! Now we got another! No way! Dude, what is going on? No way! What? No way! Another? What? What? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What? Bro, it's only been like 200 kills since the last one. <laughs> I think we cracked the code. I think we cracked the code to get great ones to spawn quicker. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, there's no way that just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe what? Ooh, okay, let's start let's start the recording. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm, I'm gonna turn the music off real quick. Uh, that way we can get this uh, <laughs> That way I can put the music there in editing. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that what? What another one bro, that's insane and this one's either small or mid rack. Ooh, oh my gosh. I can't breathe. Hold on. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. Oh Ooh, okay, here we go Here we go Are you guys ready for this? Gray one number six is Already here. I cannot believe that there's no way like this isn't real. This can't be real I'm gonna do exactly what I told you guys. I would we're gonna do a long range a Long range shot with the 243 handgun. Oh My gosh. Oh, yeah ping discord Definitely. We'll ping the Discord for this one. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's insane. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Uh, Zach, thank you so much for the four months, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, dude. That is a very generous of you. Oh my gosh. There he is. Look at this gorgeous red deer. Oh my gosh. Oh man. That's so crazy. I can't that was the fastest great one ever. The last one was definitely our quickest. Now this is even quicker. I can't believe that. Hey Bobby, how's it going, dude? And oh my gosh, Mrs. Crow. Everybody give a round of applause for Mrs. Crow with the $2 super chat. What holy congratulations, babes. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it. We just had one last night and now we've got another. This is insane. Wow. Okay, we're going to get ready for this. I'm going to give it a couple seconds for everybody to get in here. How many kills? This one was just over 200. Like... Actually, probably just on 200. This is the fastest great one we've had so far. That is just insane. I, I think we might have finally figured out, like, the sweet spot with herd management. I think we figured out the sweet spot around 30 shootable stags with the rest of them being level 4 and below. I think this is the sweet spot. We were doing it with just 20 shootable stags. Like, we had pushed herd management clear to the limits as far as it could go. And had it to the point where I couldn't get any more level 4s on the map. It was at its limits. And now that we killed off 10 of those level 4s and have been grinding it with 30 shootable stags. We've had 3 great ones within 1,300 kills roughly. Between the last 3. Or ever since we changed up our grinding strategy. Oh my gosh. It's either small or medium rack. I'm actually not sure crayfish. Oh my gosh. Yes, AE, we just got another great one. He's right here. This is ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, TD, I think he did. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's attempt this. A lot of you were saying that if we're going to use the handgun, since we were trying to do great one red deer with every single handgun from the new weapon pack, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a 300 meter shot with the 243 handgun. I think this is good right here. This is around 312. I think we can do this right here and be pretty good. Let me just double check. Let's see the distance. 292. Okay, we need to move back a little bit further. So I'm going to assume that we're having that thing happen where it's actually spawning behind it. The uh, binoculars are ranging behind the red deer. 304. Uh, Reed, thank you for the four months, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Claytrue, we'll do Buckshot for number seven for sure. Definitely will. Because this will be the last handgun from the pack that we can use on Red Deer, so. Okay, from what I remember, guys, there's not a lot of drop with this, right? Let's do a quick test shot. I want to make sure that we get this down. Um, I don't want to screw it up. That guy's about 305 away. 
Uh, let's try. You know what? Ah, we'll leave him alive. Actually, I want to leave our piebald alive. Let's let's try this out. Sam, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Holy what, you cheating spine shot? <laughs> I know, dude. This is the most absurd luck we've had ever on Call of the Wild. I can't believe it. Let's try this. Top of the back. Hey, don't do that on me. Dude, don't do that, man. We'll, we'll try it on the diamond. Yeah, that hit good. That was a good hit there on that diamond. I think. Got me second guessing now. Oh no, it was good. It was good. It just took it forever to lose health. I forgot how weak 243 is on Red Deer. It does take a while for it to actually actually show any type of health loss. Yeah, there wasn't much drop at all. I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good with this. Let's try it. Here we go, guys. Long range shot on a great one, Red Deer. Oh, I'm so nervous. If we're going to mess one up, it'll probably be this one. That looked good. Let's just watch that health. It takes a bit for it to go down. Come on. Lose health. Start losing. Oh, there we go. It's losing health. We got it. We got it, guys. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to... Starting to lose my voice a little bit from the screaming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have just got some incredible streak of luck recently. This has been quite the turn of events from getting two 6,000 kill grinds in a row to having two grinds that took less than 800 each. Absolutely an insane change of pace. Actually, we got these last two within a thousand kills. That's absurd. That was absolutely absurd. I definitely think that us changing our grinding, uh, grinding, uh, what's the word? Our amount of shootable stags from herd management from 20 to 30 definitely helped us out here. Um, let's check it. There we go. That's vital blood. We got vital blood. There we go. Oh my gosh. We've got vital blood. Oh my gosh, I can't keep my hands still. I gotta let go of the mouse or I'm gonna be shaking everywhere. Looks like I need to revamp my strategy. Congrats, bro. You're the best. Thank you, Josh. I really appreciate that. And Zevin, thank you for the five gifted, dude. That is so nice of you, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. That is super, super nice of you. And congratulations to everybody that just got a gifted membership from Zevin. Hope you guys enjoy all of the emotes and uh, membership benefits. Let's find this great one. He ran a long ways. The 243 does not have much power behind it. But he shracked from him. We got a little bit further to go. Seven, thank you for another gifted membership. My gosh, dude. You absolute legend. That is so nice of you, man. That is so nice of you. Oh, that beautiful track of 225 to 260. Is this him? No, he continues on. Okay, um, we're actually... Hold on, we, we gotta we gotta get our dog on the trail. This is the wrong way. He's going this way now. I wonder what this guy spawned off of, man. I want to know what he spawned off of. Vex says, thank you for becoming a member. Dude, really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrapped content on the channel. Really appreciate it, man. Yes, Sniper, two in a row. Two days in a row, we got a great one. I've never had that happen before. I've never got two great ones in two days. This is a first. And you guys got to witness it. We went from hip firing a great one last night, uploading the video today, to getting another great one while we were live. Oh my gosh, it just, it can't get any better. Like, we've peaked. We have officially peaked. I don't think we'll be able to ever top what has happened in these last two days. Here he is in the deep forest of Tiawaroa, blending in with the leaves. Oh, that couldn't be more perfect. He literally landed in the same type of brush. Let's get our dog to lay down so he's out of the way. He literally landed in the exact brush that's in his antlers. That is crazy. 
Here we go. Uh, let's claim it, like, right here so that it actually shows up well. Um, there we go. 257.20. Great one. There was the shot. We managed to sink it right into the center of the lungs. So it does look like if you want to do a 300 meter shot with the 243 handgun, aim like right in the middle of the spine and it will sink down into the lung. That I believe is mid rack, if I'm not mistaken. I believe this is the middle rack. Or is it the small rack? Actually, this might be small rack. I just realized the, um, the vines don't go all the way up. The vines do not go all the way up. So this is small rack. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I was hoping we would get another small rack because I love the way these things look. Absolutely ridiculous, man. Can't believe it. I just don't even know what to say anymore. There's really not much more I can say. I feel like what we just saw speaks for itself. Holy. Yeah, the 243 pistol is great. I love that thing. It's so cool. It's nice that it's that accurate at super long ranges. Mid is the 260s, got you, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. We now have two small rack, three big rack, and one, mi one mid rack. Oh my gosh. Once again, welcome to all the brand new members, and thank you to uh, everybody that has become a member. Thank you to Zevin for all the gifted memberships. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Sam, go for it. Feel free to ask. And also, let's get the music back. There we go. Now that we got the recording done, we can uh, get the music going again. I'm just speechless. I still don't, it still doesn't feel real. Thank you, Danger. Thank you, Hunter X. Thank you, Gum. Shoot the next great one with the recurve bow. I mean, at this point, I think that's all we got left besides shotgun um i saw a lot of people wanting me to use the shotgun so we're probably going to use the shotgun for the next one wow it only spawned because it's your birthday probably probably thank you nacho that was the fastest race yet it was johnny you know it's crazy uh, for those of you that are just joining in because of the great one um i got that great one last night and then my brother got a great one today when he was watching the video of me getting the great one and now, just a few hours later, I have bagged great one number six. This is, uh, this is crazy. I can't believe it. <laughs> I get all the money? Uh, 19,000 red deer. That's how. Well, actually 20,000 now. We've definitely hit 20,000 red deer kills, or close to it. Later, Sonaldo. Thank you once again for dropping by, dude. I really appreciate it. Wait, really, Smash? It's your birthday? Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday, man. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Hip shot with shotgun. Maybe. We're going to be using 10 gauge buckshot, most likely, so... We could possibly try to hip fire it if we can get close enough. But the problem is getting a broadside shot at, like, 20 meters, because if I call it, it'll be facing me. And Buckshot is terrible at getting frontal penetration, so... Most likely, we're gonna have to try and do... Just like a normal stock up and then aim down sights. Because we have to get a broadside hit with the shotgun. Ooh, let's see if we can get two great ones in one stream. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can do it. I've... <laughs> at this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Our luck has just been crazy recently. I'm so glad that we decided to switch up the grinding from 20 shootable sags to 30. Like, amazing. It, it seems to have done wonders. We're getting more diamonds and more great ones. Wow. That was crazy. What if there's another on our map? <laughs> that would be even more insane. If we have another great one red deer on our map, I don't even know what I would do. <laughs> I don't even know what I would do, honestly. Oh, we have another diamond we gotta go check out, too. Okay, so how how long was that grind? That was a short grind. Uh, let's see. We got... Wow, we didn't even shoot a rare this grind. 
How many kills have we got today, guys? Probably 140, I would say. That was 180 kills, approximately. A 180 kill grind, guys. That is unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. I know for a while, Lady Legend was having some pretty crazy luck with the Great One Red Deer and was getting a bunch of them in like a short amount of time. It looks like that's happening to us now. Crazy. We've got uh, the diamond over here. Let's try to find it. Jay and Johnny and Crow, Great One Twins? I know, right? We all got a great one on the same day. Crazy. This is going to be the uh, vital blood from that diamond. Yeah, Johnny's had even better luck with the Great One Red Deer. Like, his have shown up so fast. Time to shoot the pie also. I think we're going to keep leaving it alive. It seems like maybe it's a good luck charm. We're going to leave it for a while. Good old Geraldo gets to live. 253.66. It is a diamond. And that one, wow, that was almost a spine shot though. But it didn't quite hit spine. So that diamond technically counts for the last grind. Jeez. Yeah, Smash, we named a pie ball Geraldo the second. I asked everybody yesterday what we should name it, and everybody agreed on Geraldo the second. So we've got a we've got a pie ball named Geraldo the second now, and he's gonna be the uh, mascot of the channel. One <laughs> K, a great one. See, that's pretty good. Like that's still very good. One K, a great one is very uh, very good numbers. It looks small rack. It was definitely small rack. It was 100% a hundred percent small rack. Wait. Oh, you're saying that you just got a third great one white tail. Nice crayfish. Nice. That is awesome. No great one on this side. Ah oh, man, what a rush. What is the new herd management I'm doing? Okay, so it's the exact same thing that I've been doing, CJ, except I shot ten of the level fours. To bring us to a total of 30 shootable stags. Because I had been running with just 20 shootable stags. And then everything else on the map was fours and below. So. We shot 10 of those fours. And brought it up to 30. And I've just been maintaining 30 shootable stags. Or approximately. It doesn't have to be perfectly 30. But just roughly 30. And it has. For some reason. I don't know what. What doing that has done. But. It's made it so we've got more diamonds showing up. Not by a lot, but we're more consistently getting lots of diamonds. We're back up to that pretty much a diamond every 10 kills that we had been getting. But we're also seeing more great ones show up. Now, obviously, it's hard to say if that really is because of the grinding change or if it's just coincidence. I don't want to jump to any conclusions, so I'm not going to make a video about it until I know for sure. If we get another great one within like a thousand kills, then I'm inclined to think that there's definitely, definitely something that changed whenever we switched up our grind to 30 shootable stags. But like I'm saying, I don't want to jump to conclusions too soon. I want to make sure that we know for a fact that that's what happened before I start talking about it too much. Because I, I personally don't like putting out information unless I know for a fact that it's true. Because there's been times in the past where I've said stuff that in, in the end turned out to not be as accurate as I thought it was. Especially with when I got my second, or no, it was third Great One Whitetail. When I got my third Great One Whitetail, I remember I said that a lot of people had seen wonky deer before they got their Great One. And then I started seeing wonky deer before I got my third, but... The more that I played, the more I realized that that definitely didn't have anything to do with it. And it was just coincidence at the time. So I don't want to jump to conclusions on this. I want to make sure that we know for a fact that something has changed with us changing our strategy. Also, this guy's not worth chasing. That is too much walking. Let's go check uh, this zone over here. Actually, we need a main menu. Uh, Tyler, thank you for another super chat, dude. That's very nice of you. 
How do you organize and know how many shootable stags are on your map in total? Do you know how many total red deer spawn into the map? I don't know the exact numbers. But just from knowing where all of my red deer are, I can get approximate numbers. It seems that there's close to 100 level 4s on my map right now. I don't know if it's 90, 100, 110, but it's somewhere in that area. And then for my shootable stags, well, I see them during most of my runs, so I can tell that there's somewhere between like 30 and 35 shootable stags on my map at the moment. Somewhere in that range. A lot of it just comes down to repeating the same runs over and over again, kind of knowing where all your herds are, and then keeping tabs on them as they move around. Most of it's just a lot of trial and error. It really wasn't until like halfway through this uh, this grind that I started realizing like exactly where everything was. So it, it took me a good like somewhere between seven and ten thousand kills to really get super comfortable with my layout and memorize where everything is. And now at this point, it's just I've seen it so much that. I know every red deer on my map. I know which ones are new, which ones have been there. I know where they should be, where they're going to go if they're not in the places where I normally see them. Just a lot of memorization from the million, million times that I've come out here and shot red deer. Oh, Ripkeen. Close, though. What would happen if the great one just spawned into a great one? Um, I would freak out a little bit because uh, that would be probably the rarest thing to ever happen. Though there are people that have spawned two great ones in one run, so I still haven't had anything that crazy happen. I haven't had two great ones spawn in the same zone before, but I know two people that have. Really hoping that one of these days we can achieve the same thing. Getting two in the same zone would be absurd. Like, that would just be a whole new level of crazy. Yeah, Johnny, just crazy. It is pretty close. We were within 200 kills of each other for these last two great ones. You know, it's insane to think about. If I had shot more red deer on uh, on live stream today with Jaxie Beard, we could have had a great one on an EW stream. That would have been ridiculous. That would have been so crazy. It probably did. <laughs> yeah, probably having Jaxie on the map is what gave us the luck. Jaxie Beard has uh, graced us with his presence on our map and gave us the great one luck. I got you, Caitlin. I am telling your great one to show up within the next 200 kills on SRP. And it's going to show up at a lake you don't expect it to. So check all your lakes. Oh, definitely, Volt. I mean, if anybody's going to know, it's Mrs. Crow. Smartest person in the world. Oh, I should have known, Charles. Man, I need to get every great one or every uh, red deer to spawn in as a great one in one run. Give me like thir 30, uh, 30 great one red deer, yeah? <laughs> hey, Brober, how's it going, dude? Brober, can you believe we've had two great ones within 200 kills of each other? Isn't that just crazy? I just, I can't believe it. I'm still just so, so excited and just so... Lost for words about it. Gosh. Just crazy. There we go. <laughs> uh, 1,000 subs. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. 
I have no great ones. I'm coming back to the game. Understand? I have two diamonds. How do I get more diamonds? Used to play like three years ago, and just shot a piebald reindeer. Is that rare? Yes, that is rare. Piebald reindeer is rare. And uh, one of the best ways to get more diamonds. Well, first of all, if you're not already, hunt around water. Hunting the drink times of animals is uh, going to immediately make it so you see more animals, which will in turn make you see more diamonds. Um, another thing that you can try is. You can try herd management if you'd like to make diamonds spawn a little bit more often. Essentially what you do with herd management is just shoot the bigger animals and leave the small ones. So like for red deer, you would shoot the fives and above and leave the fours and below. For something like Rocky Mountain Elk, you would shoot the threes, fours, and fives and leave the ones and twos alive. And then eventually it just causes more to spawn after a while. I would try some of that. Another thing that you can try is uh, multiplayer hopping. Which is essentially just going into multiplayer servers, checking all of the hotspots. And there is hotspot maps and guides all over the internet, so you can use those to find the locations you should be going. But just check some of the hotspots on multiplayer servers. After you've checked them, leave, join another server, and just keep doing that. Eventually you'll find a diamond. It's a pretty effective way of getting them. And then for great ones, just shoot tons of whatever species it is. Definitely, Johnny. Herd management is very slow at the start. It takes a long time to get it going, but when you get it going, it is so worth it. What is everyone having for dinner? I haven't actually decided yet, Benjamin. Actually, I think we were... I think we had something planned, but I'm blanking right now. My mind isn't remembering it. Oh, yeah, nachos. We're gonna have nachos tonight. Should be pretty delicious. Yeah, bro, but we already shot it. We took it with the 243 handgun from 300 meters. Gosh, I'm just, I'm just hoping that we'll see another one. Could you, could you guys even believe it if we found another one? I would freak out so much. I don't think I can handle it. Like, I was getting really lightheaded after that last one. I got a little too excited. I don't think I've ever had a, a great one, like, make me almost pass out because I... Got too excited about it. I just couldn't believe it. Gosh. Um, most of the time Brie is, but I also do some cooking as well, uh, Turkey. I'd say it's like a like a 70-30 type of thing. Since I do quite a bit of working with uh, YouTube content, I don't necessarily have a lot of time for cooking. Most of the time I'm recording, streaming, editing, making thumbnails, uh, planning out what the videos are going to be, like stuff like that. So I don't get a lot of opportunities to cook, but when I do, I do have fun making stuff like uh, different pastas and um, grilled cheese sandwiches and burritos, nachos, like all that type of stuff. All the basic stuff I enjoy making. And quesadillas. Quesadillas are so good. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> 1,000 subs. Thank you so much for that ridiculous super chat. That's crazy, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, dude. That is very generous of you. Do I ever play with viewers? I don't really play one-on-one -on -one because if I do that, then I have a lot of other people asking if they can play with me as well. However, if I'm doing multiplayer, feel free to join the same servers that I'm joining. Um, I do multiplayer streams every once in a while where I join multiplayer servers and search for diamonds and stuff and I don't mind people joining into those servers when I do that so if you're looking to play that would be a good time to do it next time that I do a uh, multiplayer stream. We'll probably do one soon. I don't know when but probably within the next week we'll have another uh, multiplayer hopping stream where we search for trophies on like for Honga Savannah or something. But thank you once again for that super chat. That's so generous. <laughs> Thank you and thousand subs. I appreciate that. I'm, uh, if I'm being honest, I'm pretty proud of you guys. Like, I'm very proud of the community that we've built here on the channel. The fact that you guys are, like, so supportive and so, like, generous and caring and are always being nice to each other in chat, like, all that stuff, it means a lot to me. It, it honestly makes me so happy to see that I've got such a amazing group of supportive viewers that not only support me, but support each other as well. 
That truly is just like an amazing thing to me. You guys are amazing, and without all of you that watch the channel and... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> 1,000! <000, dude. laughs> dude! Oh my gosh, you didn't have to, dude! That's... <laughs> that is way... <laughs> oh my gosh, that is... <laughs> you are way too nice, man. I really appreciate that, like, for real. That is so generous of you. I don't... I don't know what to say. I... I'm speechless. This has been... This has been a wild day. Starting off with a, doing a stream with Jaxy Beard on the on the Expansive Worlds channel, and then having the video go up of the Great One, and then us finding another Great One on stream, and now all of this all of this insane love from the chat, and ah oh my gosh, I just <laughs> it really makes me realize like how lucky I am to be in the position that I am. I just <laughs> gosh, man, gosh. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Uh, 1,000 sub, thank you for another super chat, dude. Your birthday's tomorrow? Well, happy early birthday, dude. That's, that's insane. <laughs> thank you so much, dude, and happy early birthday. I hope it's a good one. I hope it's a good one, man. Wow. Nice, Kevin. That's awesome, man. Congrats on that. Ooh. All right. Hey, there's a diamond. <laughs> I know, right, Zach? Pretty much. Nice, Extreme. That's really good. Albino 7s are some of the nicer looking rares for Red Deer. Jeez. That diamond is named 1,000? Yes, that is, that is 1,000 over there. Gosh, can you guys imagine when, when we hit 1,000 diamonds? We're at like 770 right now. We're just under 770. We're like 230 diamonds away from getting 1,000 diamond red deer. That is just... Never in a million years did I think that I'd get to that crazy amount of number. Or amount of... <laughs> Gosh, English is tough now. <laughs> uh, English is difficult when you're in shock. But then again, it's always difficult for me, so that's nothing new. <laughs> oh my gosh. There he is, 253.12. And I think you guys are right. We got we gotta tax it. We gotta tax it. This is the, the 1000 red deer. And not number 1,000, just the 1,000 red deer. 253.12. There he is. Jeez. All right, let's, uh, let's add that. That was our first diamond of grind number seven. Wow, that's wild. That is crazy. Let me finish updating the uh, counts here. Save it before I forget since I forgot last time. Let Bree shoot the next great one? I might. You never know. We might have to do that. We might have to do that. Oh my gosh. I just thought about something too. I just thought of something that would be really cool where I could involve Bree in it as well. How would you guys feel if I shot a great one blindfolded? I I don't know how this would go, but what if I shot one blindfolded and she had to guide my aim? Like I'm I have the face cam on, I'm blindfolded, she's telling me which way to move my mouse. And when to hold my breath. And we have to shoot it blind. 
Like, at this point, I'm trying to think of some cool things that we could do. We've already took a great one with every gun that I wanted to. So why not start mixing it up? Why not start making it a little bit more interesting? I think that could be fun. I'm willing to risk it. We've got enough great ones now that I'm not too worried if we mess up one of them from a challenge. Because regardless, it's still going to look the same in the lodge. It'll still look like a great one regardless. So if we mess one up for a challenge, it is what it is. Hip shot, blind hip shot. Oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know about that one. But definitely uh, do a blindfolded one. Shoot it with my feet on the mouse. That would also be very interesting. I, I don't know how that would go. Yeah, Aaliyah wouldn't be able to do it. She's still pretty young. Oh my gosh. Dude. Dude. Huh? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. 1,000 subs. What are you doing, man? <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, this, this, this is too much. I can't take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I greatly appreciate that, dude. Like, that, that's just crazy. That's just too, that's just too nice, man. That's crazy. You should name the great one 1,000. Gosh, I guess we got to at this point, right? I guess we gotta. I'll tell you what, if we get this next great one on stream, we'll name it 1000. Cause I'm gonna continue grinding for another one. If we find another great one on stream, we're gonna name it 1000. And I'll also, um, Also try to find a rare that we could name as well. Gosh, dude, that's crazy. Thank you so much. Big Mangoes, thank you for becoming a member as well, dude. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon, all the awesome emotes ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord uh, to YouTube. Gosh, I can't even I can't even say the saying, guys. What happened to me? I can't even say the saying. Oh my gosh. There goes all your summer earnings. Ah, oh, rip, man. Well, I appreciate it regardless. That's uh, very generous of you. That is crazy, man. That's crazy. Jeez. That's crazy. Thank you so much, man. Oh, and also, how's it going, Cole? I saw you in the chat. Welcome back, dude. Um, yes, Austin, we did that in today's video. We did that in today's video, and then we just got another great one to show up. Like, <laughs> within 200 kills of each other, we had two great ones. Absolutely absurd. Yeah, pretty much, Edwin. <laughs> pretty much. Everybody gonna have a good Christmas. Thanks to 1,000. Thanks to 1,000, everybody in my family's gonna have a good Christmas. Yeah, no problem, Austin. Be sure to check out today's video if you want to see the hip shot great one. That was the riskiest thing I've ever done on a great one. The 243 long range that we just did, it was risky, but I think that hip fire is still my favorite uh, way that we've took a great one. Hey, Scott, I'm doing so good, man. We got another great one today, about 30 minutes ago. I'm just absolutely ecstatic right now. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. What? I missed both of those shots, I just realized. Neither neither of those were kill shots. Alright, let's main menu. Also, we might end up streaming Marauders tonight. KC says that it's a maybe. So hopefully, hopefully we can get a second stream tonight on Marauders. If so, that would be great. Hopefully he'll be able to do it. If not, I might still do it anyway. Yes, yeah, we got the sixth one. We got the sixth one live on stream. That makes it so now with the great one, we've killed three live on stream. Or I guess we should, I guess I should say we got three of them to spawn live on stream. And then we also got three of them to spawn off stream. So it's been like 50-50 for ones that we got on and off stream. It's been crazy. If KC no more red deer, I know, I know. We we can't we can't be hunting red deer. We can't be hunting the red deer and marauders, you know. If we find a red deer and marauders, I'll be a little bit concerned, but yeah, we'll we'll definitely have to stop shooting those marauding red deer if we uh, play with KC. There's a diamond. We got another legendary out there. The diamonds are still popping up like crazy as well. Favorite gun? Uh, my favorite gun in the game is the 308, but uh, the Glock is creeping up there as one of my favorites as well. I also like the 6.5 and the 303. All are great guns. There he is. Great one, Red Deer and Marauders. Oh, we'll do it. We'll definitely do it. You might just unplug Casey's internet cables. But why would you do that, Yeast? Marauders is amazing. And I've been missing it. I've been missing uh, playing some Marauders with KC. We haven't been able to in like four days or something like that. It is, Hopi. The 6.5 is underrated. I like that gun a lot. I actually took my second Great One Red Deer with it. That's a pretty good looking big rack. Come on. Come on. Pop pop out of there. What are you doing? You can't stay behind cover forever. That, that's not how this works. Or is it? I, I think it I think okay, there we go. Got him. There we go. Beautiful. Did we not get it? We might not have got it. In that case, it's Glock time. Yeah, me too, Owen. It sounds nice. The The racking of the slide is always great. Oh, oh my gosh, ma'am. And missed vitals, I think? Maybe? Yeah, we missed vitals. We just got to get it down. That's wild. <laughs> Pretty much, Zach. <laughs> red deer aim? Definitely red deer aim. Yeah, the muzzle loader is very powerful, but it does take a while to load, that's for sure. A lot of fun, though. Hey, Thunder, how's it going, dude? How you been, man? Uh, it's the way the scoring system works, uh, Hunting Man. They don't score the middle tines of the antler, and that's where a lot of the tines are for the great ones, so... Those tines don't even get scored. Um, if it was scored off of the real-life scoring system, like Boone and Crockett, um, 
the red deer great one would score higher than the diamonds but because of the weird way they score things in this game uh, it ends up scoring lower yeah the cold 45 is ridiculously long loading time wow first one went high interesting second shot went far back Unfortunate. It is what it is. That still counts as a diamond, though. So that's technically our second diamond of grind number seven. All right. I think we're actually going to jump into the lodge now, guys. Let's jump into the lodge and take a look at that uh, <laughs> that great one, Red Deer. Oh, my gosh. I never thought that we'd be putting up another one so soon. Yeah, the recurve is fun. Yeah, Thunder, we got number six already. 180 kills since the one from today's video. Yeah, no two great ones, sadly, Nacho. But I've got to... Got to get some other stuff done. Like, I mean, now I got to make a video for this guy, too. Like... Here they are. Big rack, mid rack, big rack, small rack. We have four great one red deer on this wall. Oh my gosh. Crazy, man. That's that's a picture I need. That's crazy. You know, it kind of makes me want to move these two mounts up front and then move the red deer mounts right here to the middle. That way all my red deer great ones are in the same spot. Ooh. Oh yeah, we actually need to get this great one whitetail up here as well. Because obviously it was our first ever great one whitetail. We got to get it up somewhere. Still unfortunate that it bugged out after the update that they pushed out after Rancho's release, but it's still a great one regardless, even if it broke. So we have our four great one whitetail right there. Four great one red deer here. And two right here. This is crazy. Just absolutely crazy. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this stream. We might be back later today, provided we can get either Kill Clinton or Brobra or somebody to join us for Marauders. I hope somebody will join because I have been desperate to get back on there and play. I've really been missing streaming it for you guys. And I, it's one of the more like enjoyable non-hunting games right now for me. So we'll be back with that, hopefully. But uh, until then, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.